Hi, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Today, I'm going to do a quick review of LoanTech.top. Okay, before I get started here with this Loan Tech review, I just want to let you know that I'm not an affiliate from Loan Tech who's trying to sponsor, or recruit you, or get you to invest your hard-earned money into this platform. I'm just uh, going to do a quick unbiased review in the form of a video for YouTube um, by a non-affiliate. Okay. Um, also, if you're looking for a legitimate way to make money online, uh, my number one recommended uh, affiliate marketing program underneath this video, first link in the description. Uh, what's more important than the lucrative 40 to 60% compensation plan and big ticket uh, commission uh, potential on the back end is the training. Some of the best training I've ever seen online. Okay. Um, we can even help you with marketing yourself as a marketer as well as your income opportunities if they're legit. Uh, so you can get access to that. First link underneath this video uh, after you watch this review. If you're looking for traffic, second link underneath this video. So let's get right into it. Loan Tech Review. I'm on the main website here. Uh, I have no idea who this gentleman is uh, in this image here. Um, now, what I'm seeing though, uh, is promise of 3% daily ROI. So what this is, is another HYIP platform. Uh, if you're here today, you want to find out, is it legitimate? Is it a scam? How long have they been around? Are they paying? Um, and you know, can you make a long-term passive ROI with this one? Okay. These are the things we're going to answer. Um, first thing I look for is ownership. Okay. Uh, click the about us section here Founded by Chris Wright and his diligent team Okay So there we are that's the CEO the name CEO of loan tech Okay, now the first thing I want to figure out usually these platforms are anonymously owned and whenever they have people on them I usually question that because um if they're smart, they would never uh, show you who they are, okay? Because they don't want to be held liable for any legal issues. Okay, so I did a search on this gentleman here, Chris Wright. Can't find any information about this person with this image, okay? On Google, okay? <clears throat> End up with this gentleman here, uh, American basketball player, and he's uh, African American. This is, uh, you know, Caucasian white male here, okay? so. Obviously, it's not him. Um, now, I did find Chris Wright profile. Click on that. Let's see what happens together. Oh, too many different people here to go through. Um, let me just type in D. Chris D. Wright. Let's see what I find. Okay, there is a Chris D. Wright on Facebook. It's very important to know who you're locking arms with in business. Okay, it, that'll indicate how long uh, the platform is going to last, especially um, if it's fire your boss, replace your income, or even get extra income in the form of passive. So that's the same image on the website, same name. Okay, but, uh, you know, it could be a fake made up identity. Um, Let's do a little bit more poking around. Actually, I did some poking around, guys, to save some time. I ended up with this gentleman here. Okay. Uh, that is the CEO. Some people couldn't care less who the CEO is, but turns out that the image that they're using here is a stolen image. Uh, this is the person here. Uh, his real name is Ben Ratray. He has nothing to do with Loan Tech. He actually started his own company back in 2007. And uh, his company is called change.org. Okay, so it's a, it's a case of stolen identity. The name, I'm guessing, that they're claiming who their CEO is, is a fake made-up name. Okay. Um, now I want to know, do they have any address on this deal? Contact, FAQ, they have an address here. Okay. Um, now, the address here, 17... Grove Field. Let's go and see where that is. So I already checked this out, but I just want to show you guys. Uh, this is the address you're going to end up with here. So it's an area in the UK, and it looks like a residential area. Okay, so I'm thinking fake address. Uh, now something that they left out that I, I saw earlier, 
and for whatever reason they removed it it's got they were using this uk incorporation address um but it has a different name it has bright future loans okay but if you can you can see clearly 17 little grove field harlow essex okay uh some more issues here um so what you're dealing with here anonymous ownership and fake address okay uh, they removed this image. Most likely, people started questioning why did it have a different name. Anyways, what I want to say here: UK Corporation certificate. Even if they had one in Loan Tech, Loan Tech's name, um, UK Corporation certificate is meaningless. Okay, it's unregulated. In order to give you guys a passive ROI legally, like three percent daily ROI, like they're promising, they have to register with the FCA in the UK. <coughs> very, very important. Um, so 3% daily is what they're promising here, 22-day uh, 20 20 duration. Now, according to what I'm seeing here, even in their own write-up, guys, uh, it's looking like they're even claiming it's a Ponzi scheme. They don't have any products or services. The only thing an affiliate marketer can uh, market is to make money ROI memberships themselves. Okay, but with the packages that they have here uh 22 days now what are they going to do with that uh the bulk of their profits goes to sustain older lenders so that's pretty well what i'm saying here the only revenue that i'm seeing here is from network marketing recruitment to pay the older lenders they even wrote it there themselves and to top that off <coughs> after 22 days you only get uh, 34 percent of your principal investment right they're even telling you that they're taking the rest of that to pay the older the older who the older um investors okay they're claiming older lenders i think they wrote that wrong <laughs> now what else can i see here 243 days online is that true let's go and see could be uh registered that's a domain here privately registered august 24th 2019 um so what we are in september 2000 so it's over a year and uh updated february 2nd okay private registered so whoever they are you know they're hiding uh, behind the scenes so let me get to a quick conclusion and verdict here i don't recommend this deal too many red flags number one first uh first red flag i'm seeing here guys is the roi itself okay uh, no financial institution could actually offer you this and have it be sustainable three percent if they can actually make three percent for themselves why the heck would they need you a random stranger online they would just quietly keep making their three percent daily roi they could make billions of dollars if what they're claiming here was actually real okay if they have actually had a way to create that kind of revenue okay that's the first red flag unsustainable roi second red flag is anonymous ownership okay um third red flag is they're not legally set up with the fca in the uk to give you guys a passive roi okay um so what i'm thinking here uh, is eventually it's going to scam out um and leave the great majority of passive investors sol shit out of luck guys okay shit out of luck very important uh, things to be thinking about here um this concludes my loan tech review i don't recommend it too many red flags and uh, if you're still looking for a legitimate way to make money online powerful affiliate marketing educational platform uh fifth year in business first link underneath this video um, second link underneath this video if you're looking for traffic uh, there's an option to get traffic for yourself there also lucrative affiliate marketing program up to 80 percent commissions and the ability to make um, passive roi in the form of getting paid out on multiple tiers okay with that traffic opportunity very powerful Anyways, guys, this concludes my loan tech review. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day. I will see you on the next one.